work. TFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. This is the 9 a.m. Tiger Financial News Network update, and we're looking at the Dow futures. At this particular point, they were rallying quite nicely earlier on. Now they're down 84 points at 31,409. Let me show you something very interesting here. I'll be discussing it in the show coming up. It is Larry Pesavento's trade, what you see, but I'll be sending in for him today. So there were three highs over the last three days, all-time highs, just or just a miss by a fraction in the 31,640s. And two days ago, three days ago, now it's three days ago, there was a 0% change. I used to very much um, consider that the looking at the where are we? Yeah, we are looking at the range of the market going back to when I hand charted and I went back to the 1920s and I went back to all those charts of the Dow. I started to notate zero percent changes. I'll talk about that in Larry's show coming up in a few minutes. But most importantly, those zero percent changes often in, uh, reflected something that would happen later on. It's almost like an, uh, like a doji candle. Uh, but at this price, 31,500, how are you going to see a 0% change? Well, there was a, a change of uh, almost exactly 0% change the other day. I'll talk about that. In the meantime, if you're looking at the E-mini, the E-mini trading uh, down 11 at 38.66. This, in fact, is saying to us that the repellent zone of those moving averages right there, I know Larry doesn't use them, but I use them, says that this is very important because if there is a pullback under 38.65, later on in the day, if we're down below 38.50, that's going to be a negative, and I think it's the interest rates. If you're looking at the interest rates, look at the TLT. This is the, the bonds uh, down to at 139.71. And I'll show this in, in a few minutes. We'll talk about it in greater detail. Here's the 30-year, the 10-year, and the 5-year. Look at that increase in the in the yields. That's going to be affected affecting the markets. So we're looking at that. We'll see if gold is doing anything here. Gold is still uh, kind of down. It's not doing very much. But the Bitcoin is something that we need to watch very closely. Bitcoin is trading at 49.65 below 57,790 high made three days ago. We have to talk about that as well with the Chapman Wave Roman candle. Hello, Chapman. I'll be back in a few minutes for Larry Pesavento's show. Eight minutes.